Hello everybody and welcome to How to Mod 7 Days to Die. We're specifically talking about the XML fixes in the Combo Pack 17 as featured in my first episode of Season 4, 7 Days to Die. Now, in case you've never modded this game before, it's actually extremely easy and you're going to be quite surprised. If you just follow these easy steps, I mean, it's pretty easy, but let's get into it. You're going to be quite surprised just how easy it is. So, in the description there's going to be two links. Uh, it's going to bring you to the seven days to die official forms. Here's the official forms. The first link is going to be for the XML official XML fixes. This is uh, an official unofficial XML fixes that the community has made for the game. It has a lot of fixes in the game, as you can see by this, uh, this change log. It's it's endless. It, it, it has an end. It's it's 13 pages, but that's the mod we're going to be talking about for the first one. And for the prefabs in the world that we're seeing in the world is combat combat combo pack 17 for alpha 13.8. Now this is going to be the same for any version of the game as, as, as it goes installing them. But with new updates and stuff, it's got to get time to be updated. But you're going to go ahead and download each mod. There's a download link on for each one. Once you have them downloaded, you want to go ahead and put them in a place you can easily access them on the desktop, that is. Uh, if you don't know where your game is specifically uh, at, installed in your on your thing, an easy way to find out is quickly go to Library in Steam, right-click on Properties. You're going to go to Local Files, and you're going to go Browse Local Files. Now, that's going to take you right to where the game is installed. And this is the folder we're going to be using. So we're done with Steam. So now once you have your 7 days to die directory uh, game file up, we can go ahead and start uh, installing some mods. We're going to go ahead and start with the XML fixes first. Doesn't really matter what order you do them in, doesn't matter. But uh, it's the same process either way. It's literally drag and drop. So we're going to go, go ahead and open the, f the folder of the mod of the XML fixes. We're going to go in our game. We're going to go to data and we're going to go into configs. So this is all of our config files here for the game. And these are all the files that the game, this mod changes. So what we're going to do, we're going to, even the text version, we're going to go ahead and take all the XML files and dra uh, uh, copy them to there. And we're going to go ahead and click replace files and destination. And if you're on a different windows other than 10, I think it says uh, copy and replace files. So you definitely want to replace them because these are changed. All right, so now that we have those installed, we're gonna go in the uh, this XUI file. All right, and this is the only file that the mod changes. So we're gonna drag and drop and replace that with that windows. And then we're done with XML fixes. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the prefabs folder is what we're gonna do here in a second. We're going to go ahead and open your combo pack uh, 17. This is all the uh, this is all the good stuff. As you see, this is all the new uh, stuff that's going to be added and going to be spawned in your random gen worlds. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and click on data and we got two folders config and prefab. We're going to go ahead and start with uh, prefab. So these are all the X, these are all the XML files for the prefabs that you'll see in the world in your random gen world. So you're gonna go ahead and prefabs in seven days to die. You're gonna go ahead and click select all. You can use that by Control A and you're gonna drag and drop. That's gonna copy all them files into there. You don't want to delete any of the original files, even if you don't want to see them. You have no choice. Don't delete them. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go back to the config file again. As you can see, there's a config file that needs to be changed, which is the uh, random world gen mixer, which is actually going to put these buildings in the uh, in the world. So here's that file right there. We're going to go ahead and drag our new file and we're going to go ahead and replace that old file. So all our new buildings are now going to spawn in random world gen. But that is it. Those mods are installed. It was that easy. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and go into seven days to die and show just how awesome these mods are. And as you can see, once you're in game and you start exploring around the world, you start to see some interesting buildings 
that have been all made by the community. So that's how you install these two particular mods. Really simple and really easy. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff you guys do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.